I'm not for digital IDs, I must say, but they are uh, coming. And actually, uh, I think that they are very likely to happen in some form or other. It doesn't have to be the one that was laid out by Starmer. Liz Truss gave an interesting take on this, which I somewhat agree with. She said, now, knowing what I know about the government IT, it's highly unlikely that this terrible authoritarian scheme will be implemented by 2029. By then, Starmer will be kicked out of office and it will be clearly or it will be junked. So we'll see. This has been announced. Whether it gets rolled out or not is still to be seen. I can understand the pushback from it. We already have online identities that are probably far more invasive in regards to your Google search history, what you do and don't put on your social media platforms, which is why I don't have social medias. Um, you know, now the government rolling this out, I, th I think I think there's rightfully a lot of concerns. Uh, but this really is the future. Crypto can actually, where we can link this to crypto, crypto can actually help with this digital ID. You're going to get digital IDs of some form or other. You can actually implement technologies like zero knowledge proofs and things like this so that the verification doesn't need to be perhaps as invasive or uh, you can choose how it sort of all creates a, a knowledge graph around you. Crypto is one of the only enabling things that can do that for you. So an interesting future perhaps that we're moving towards.